What did Raven want in the tomb? Hmm, you're pretty curious. You remind me of a fellow I once knew. He was just as curious. And eventually it was his undoing. Get to the point. What happened in the tomb? Well, <clears throat> my throat is really dry. Hey, Scatty, not now. This is important. So what did Raven do there? All right. He... he called... summoned something. He kept calling out words in a foreign language. Bright light poured out of the tomb, and then I heard a scream that cut right through me. A demonic scream. And then? That's all I know. At that moment, Bloodwood came out of the tomb and said I should beat it. And that's what I did. It also didn't take long before Raven and his boys disappeared back into the temple. And since then, Raven hasn't been seen. Sorry for that poor editing, everyone. Uh, let me just continue on. Would you like a drink? A beer would really hit the spot. There's hardly any beer here in camp. But maybe Lucia still has a bottle. There you go. Oh, that tastes 2, good. 2,500 for just Thanks, a beer. Man, you're my hero. Alright, let's see what he has. Let's deal. Not much. Not much. Alright, well, let's head on down to the mine. So, first things first, I'm just going to talk to some diggers and learn a bit more about mining. I don't hey, think I can you. learn anything else from Lena. Of course not. Hey. Nope. Hey. Emily is a, an asshole, so I can't learn anything from him. Hey, you. What do you want from me? Go away. Okay, never mind. Hey, you. I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. I think I can only talk to diggers, not actual slaves. Yeah. He simply needs to practice. Everything all right with you? The slaves are getting the big chunks out of our way. Then we'll harvest the golden fruit later. All right. Well. What do I have to know about mining gold? Always dig from bottom to top. That may be difficult, but that way you get more gold out of the rock. Now let's talk to this digger. Hey! What do I have to know about mining gold? Brain work, boy. Mining gold is a purely mental procedure. Don't try to force the rock. It's harder than you. Free your mind of everything, and try to become one with the gold. Then, it is like meditation, a prayer. Alright, any more diggers? Yep. Hey! What do I have to know about mining gold? The legs. It's all in the legs. Strength and momentum come from the legs. Alright, there's a chef. And now let's go to. Let's go over here and see what we can find. This is where the tomb is located, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Slave. Nothing to be had there. Saint Sentinel. Another slave. Another Saint Sentinel. Nothing to be had there. More slaves, small coins, perfect. And I don't think there's anything over here. Nope. All right, let's head into this area. Stone Sentinel, perfect. Nothing there. More Stone Sentinels. And other than that, there really is nothing much else here, because it's already been desecrated. So let's head out and go to the other mining area. And that area is pretty much where shit hits a fan for everyone in the band camp. So let's go over here. Hey, where are you going? Do you want to go into this passage? Well, sure. Why not? 
were even more slaves back there. As far as I'm concerned, you can go in, but don't hit them so hard they can't work anymore. After all, we certainly don't want them just sitting around. They have to dig for gold. I see. And who ordered that? That is a direct order from Bloodwind. I thought Raven was the boss here. Right, but he gave the slaves to Bloodwind. He doesn't have any more use for them. Alright, now let's go over here. And talk to Patrick. Hey, you! Now, here are s some of the missing people, or all of the missing people, apart from uh, William, the fisherman who's friends with Farim. I've been sent by the water mages. I've come to free you. Really? Why should I believe you? Do you want to get out of here or not? Of course I want to get out, but... Uh, Vatra sent me. If that's not enough for you, you can all rot in this hole for all I care. All right, I believe you. Really? Wow, that was about to be thought. Okay, now all we need is a plan. Trying to flee poses a great risk. William tried and he bought it. Prisoners are peasants and workers. They trust me, but they won't dare to mount an escape. What do you want me to do? Get your pardon with Raven? Hey, <laughs> not a bad idea. But that can't be the plan. Just see to it that the guards don't attack us, and then we'll get out of here. Okay, I'll handle that. Tell the others to get ready. Alright, now. Kill these meat blo meat blugs. God damn it. Meat bugs. And talk to this guy whose name is Pardos, if you don't remember. How are you holding up? I'm beat. Completely worn out. Is it a glorious sunny day or one of those clear nights where a thousand stars are twinkling? I don't know. Where's the gentle rain of summer? The cool evening breeze. I can feel them no longer. It's the eyes that go first in here. Hang in there. Your rescue is near. Thanks. Thanks for your words. Here, drink this. Give an essence of healing. Ah, oh, crap. Thanks. That does me good. Wrong potion. God damn it. Did I seriously just... Ah. Please tell me that essence is the worst. I mean the best. Oh my god. Freaking hell. I did it wrong. It's the second time I've done this in a hardcore challenge. I keep... I keep telling myself, give him the best thing you have. Give him the best thing you have. And god damn it, I always give him the worst thing. How are you now? Better. Thanks to you, I can feel my strength returning. Oh, it doesn't matter. I think I just missed out on around a thousand or two thousand XP. No biggie. Hey, you! That's Tonak. What do you want? I'm just an imprisoned worker. I haven't done a thing. Tonak is the friend and hunter of Barthok, if I... Hey, no, you! Not mistaken. Hey, I'm alright. Thanks for helping part us. If there's anything you want, talk to Patrick. He's our spokesman. I don't remember who Telbor is, but I know he's one of the missing people, that's for sure. Hey! Monty, I think, is uh, Garvel's henchman person. What do I have to know about mining gold? Well, the angle at which you strike is crucial for efficient mining. Not too flat and not too steep. That way, you'll get the nuggets and make your pick hold up forever. Alright, now I head on over here. Kill these meat bugs. Alright, I'm kinda confused. I thought this was the entry to the next section of the mine, but I guess I was wrong. So where the hell is that area? With the mine crawlers and stuff. Okay, that's not the way. That's also not the way. Gold nugget. Okay, so it should be over here. So here we have some in the mine. Wait a minute. Is there a problem? Mine crawlers. Lots and lots of mine crawlers. We've run into a nest here. Why don't we attack the crawlers? I asked that too. 
but the guards had more important things to do. Bloodwin has left it to me to remove this problem. I don't suppose you're planning to fight the crawlers. Why should I? So that we can get at the gold in the cave? Bloodwin will just take most of it for himself anyway. And I'm not risking my neck for the little bit I'd get. If you want to fight the crawlers, don't let me stop you. Only don't lure them all out here, okay? Alright. That's just a slave. Now, head on down here, and this is where I died in one of my hardcore challenges, because I didn't change my armor. So, equip good armor, and attack the minecrawlers. That should make things much easier for you. Kill that guy, or it. Too easy. Oh wow. Well. Nothing to plunder. Take off Nothing the micro plates. Alright. And now kill off this final micro. And take everything you can find here. Micro mandibles, excellent. Dark mushrooms, potions. What else can I find here? Another potion, some dark mushrooms. Don't think there's anything else here. Woodland berry. Alright, now to learn the rest of uh, the gold mining efficiency and stuff like that, you basically have to do it yourself. So, let's see how much we've got. 90%. So, all you have to do is just chop, keep chopping, chopping, and basically eventually you'll gain some experience, as you can see. So, keep doing that. And gold nuggets are excellent because uh, with gold nuggets you can just um, go to Crimson and he'll give you 10 gold pieces for each gold nugget. I think it's 10 gold pieces for each gold nugget, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much that here. Now I'll equip the bandit armor. And head on out here. Now I'll talk to Garas. So, that should be it. The crawlers are finished. Bloodwind is already on the way. That's what you wanted, isn't it? I mean, you slaughtered the crawlers so Bloodwind would come here. So whatever you're planning, do it now. Alright, here is Bloodwind. Now, he's an arsehole. He's easy to kill as Wait well. Wait a minute. You killed the mine crawlers? Good. I'll take over now. Go on. Beat it. Wait a minute. You still aren't gone? We still have to set something straight. Enough talk. Let's fight. It's too late for you anyway. Raven is opening the temple right now. Ha ha ha! Die, bastard! There we go. Get his two-hander. Get his head and his Nothing key. To plunder. Talk to Garaz. Assuming he you has sure something to say. Yep. Nice work. Then I'll take a look around the cave. Alright, and now what you want to do is go outside. Actually, I'm just going to mine a bit more gold. Perfect. Now I'm basically a legend. After you get 100%, talk to Finn. Hey, you! Can you judge my gold digging abilities? Sure. I've been at this for over 35 years. There's nothing I can't assess. For you, I'd say you're a, a guru among diggers. So now, you're as good as I am. Congratulations, partner. 